Hey guys, what's up? It's the FIFA Advantage, and right now you're watching episode 11 of the 10,000 Coin Challenge. As you may have noticed, right up in the top, it says I was 18, 1, and 2. In the last episode, I think I was 16, 1, and 2, which means I accidentally erased some footage. Oops, what can you do? But I ended up winning the last two games. I think both the guys I played quit, and I mean, they were pretty easy. But I'm I'm doing pretty well in this, and unfortunately in this episode I had to be a little bit sweaty. But, I mean, sometimes, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to win. And I think being a little sweaty is the best bet. Especially when I'm playing with this kind of a squad, like, like really, like, I got players... I don't. I have one player that's over 80 rated, and he's my goalkeeper. This team was worth less than <laughs> one of the guys on this guy's team, um, Benzema. Benzema, he paid. He paid more for Benzema than I play, paid for my entire team. Like, there's no way that I should beat this guy. But I came out guns blazing, and I just, I just wasn't holding back, and I'm not gonna lie, I kinda killed him, but I think it wasn't his fault because his players were low on fitness. Like, look at Kalishi's fitness right there. It was almost halfway gone, and it was right at the beginning of the game. And I just took it in. I don't know what happened right there. I think it bounced off somebody, and then it just went in. Easy goal, easy goal. And then I scored a uh, penalty kick. I didn't show it, but in the 21st minute, I got the ball, picked the ball up with Rodrigo. He dribbled it in right past Kalishi again. Kalishi had a really bad game. He just he couldn't keep up because his fitness was low. He must have played like at least four or five games with him before he got jumped into this one. But in the first half, I ended up scoring four. Oh, and one more goal. Watch this goal. A little rainbow flick over the goalie's head and then just smashes it home. There was no chance. Goalie had no chance to blocking that. But in the 73rd minute, I picked the ball up and do a chipped header with Rodrigo. My boy had a hat trick in this game. This is third goal right here. This third goal, a little lucky rebound goal. But, you know, stuff happens. Oh, it wasn't even a rebound goal. I was wrong. I just crossed it into Jeffron. Jeez. Come on. Come on, man. You got to get that right. But I ended up beating that guy 8-zip. I didn't feel that bad because his team was way more expensive than mine. I, I probably could have scored less goals on him to make him not feel as bad for himself, but I had to do what I had to do. Jeffron ended up getting a 9.8 in that game. Rodrigo with a 9.7 and three goals. Jeffron with two. I think he had an assist as well. My boys were just killing it out there. They just wanted to win. After I had that talk with them, they were like, come on, boys. They all, they all got together. They fixed their chemistry up, and they, they decided that they wanted to win. After that game, I moved into this division 5-1-1 one, and one, with our overall record being 19-1-2. and two. We got those two lo two stupid pesky losses. Man, it's just like, I can't, I just don't like losing in this game. I just want to win every single time that I play. But after that first game, I I had to put a contract on Mangala. Um, he was, oh, I used one of the bronze contracts, one of the bronze, bronze contracts that I started with in the game. I took a few guys out. I tr I traded. Uh, I mean, I put in my con for Mangala because he was getting tired. I put in Jeff. No, I took out Jeff Ron and put in Varela. Varela's just been one of my outstanding players on this team. I'm not gonna lie. He's just been scoring goal after goal and having some sick assists. Even in this next game that you're about to watch, he had some crazy plays that I don't even know where they came from. And then I jumped into the second game of the episode, and this guy, I'm not going to lie, was pretty freaking good. Plus he had Dialf and um, Swine up front, and I just didn't really have much of a chance to to pace up his offense because my defenders were super slow. So I had to, to convert to being a sweat. I had to be a sweaty player this game. I'm not going to lie. It's sad, but I had to do it to win. I just couldn't lose. I wanted to make it in Division 1, get that 10,000 coins, maybe up in some packs in this ne next episode, huh? You see a little foreshadow there? But he ended up taking the lead in the second half, and right at the beginning of the second half, I got a through ball to Varela, and he just slotted it home with his left foot right past the keeper. That was a pretty good shot, I'm not even going to lie. But in the 63rd minute, he got a through ball with 
to S line and he just finessed it right in the upper corner of the net and I had no chance. And then in the 65th minute, just a few minutes later, I sweated it with Rodrigo to Varela and he just put it home. Easy goal, open net. And then another sweaty goal right here to Labiad, taking the lead. I just, I couldn't lose. I didn't want to lose. Five, four to three, 80, 87th minute. I picked up a volley goal with Rodrigo and this guy had enough. He just paused it right here and, oh, he didn't even pause it. He just <laughs> rage quit. He turned off his PlayStation. Rodrigo got a 9.8, scored a few goals, got an assist. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Yes, we finally made it in Division 1. Woo! Let's see if we can win it. Not losing any games in Division 1. Let's do this.